I will be making a goldfish out of shrink paper. Here's the material that we'll be needing. So we will trace the image onto a shrink paper using white pencil crayon. Then you'll be needing to color the goldfish. You can use pencil crayon or pastel. I personally prefer pencil crayon because it's a lot easier to apply and you can get a lot of details with it. You're coloring it in, you should have a reference photo of a real goldfish so that you have the right color for each section. So you're basically just coloring it in from dark to light. Then you need a craft knife to cut out the texture. You can do that after you color or before you color, it doesn't really matter. So you're just basically texturing it using a knife and then you're going to color it. I am using the same colors as I did with the body and transitioning it from dark to light. And after you color all parts of the fish, you're going to cut it out. But when you're cutting it out, you're gonna make sure that you're not twisting the paper too much because if you're twisting it too much, uh, it's gonna crack. It's like a really thick piece of paper. And the next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to heat it up until it shrink and you're going to find something to hold your piece while you're heating it up because while the heat gun is blowing air out, it's going to blow your piece away if you're not holding it. I'm just using a pair of tweezers and after you shrink all parts of your fish, you're going to um, shape it. I'm using a sponge with a piece of baking paper on top to make sure that I don't burn the sponge. And then you're going to round up your piece. Um, you're going to make it to a desired shape. And I am using one of those sculpturing tools and just rolling it back and forth to get a desired shape. So you're going to do that also with the body of your fish and I'm just using a smaller sculpting tool for this. And using your hands, you're going to bend the body of the shape slightly. You can reheat your piece plenty times to get a desired look. And then you're going to try fitting all pieces together. So I'm using a tweezer to test if all parts fit together. Also use tape for this. I use a knife to kind of reshape uh, my fish in order to fit them all together. And the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to fit all parts together and using UV resin, you're going to kind of glue them together. You're going to do that with all parts and after you put UV resin, like the glue on, you're going to leave it under the UV lamp to let it dry. UV only cures under UV light or the sun, so you're going to need a UV lamp for this. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint the eye. So we want the eye to pop up, so we are going to mix some UV with some pigment. And you're going to dot the pigment onto the fish. So you're going to do the gold first, and then you're going to do the black on top of the uh, gold, but smaller. After doing the eye, I painted my fish body with some sparkle pink. But make sure that you're only applying a little bit because if you're putting too much on, it's going to make your fish look fake. And the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to put UV resin all around the fish 